हेलो व्यूअर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री एंड इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड द लेंथ ऑफ द कॉर्ड इंटरसेप्टेड बाय अ पैराबोला ऑन ए लाइन राइट सो हियर विल डिराइव एन एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द लेंथ ऑफ द कॉर्ड इंटरसेप्टेड बाय अ पैराबोला ऑन अ लाइन राइट सो लेट एस स्टार्ट suppose uh, we have a parabola whose equation is y square is equal to 4ax right and the equation of the line is y is equal to mx plus c right so this is the equation of the parabola and uh, this is the equation of the line right okay now suppose uh, uh, we have uh, the parabola like this so now uh, here uh, we have the parabola like this so here we have the parabola like this and and this is the rough sketch of the parabola y square is equal to 4ax and uh, the line y is equal to mx plus c is uh, say like this this is the uh, line y is equal to mx plus c right okay now uh, here we have to find uh, the length of uh, this chord that is these uh, two points a and b are the point of intersection between the parabola and the line and uh, uh, we have to find the length of uh, uh, this chord ab uh, which is intercepted between uh, this parabola and the line right so we have to find the distance ab so uh, let us uh, see how to find this distance ab now in order to find the point of uh, intersection a and b we have to solve these two equations uh, simultaneously right so once we uh, solve these two equations uh, simultaneously we can find out the uh, points of intersection a and b between the line and the parabola right so let us solve so here if we substitute Uh, the value of uh, y is equal to mx plus c in equation one, so we'll have mx plus c uh, whole square is equal to 4ax, right? Okay. Now simplifying it, we have m square x square plus c square plus 2mcx equal to 4ax, and now Uh, we can rearrange uh, this equation uh, like uh, m square x square plus uh, 2 mc minus 4 a x plus c square is equal to zero, right? So this is equation number three, uh, which is uh, a quadratic equation. right so this is a quadratic equation in x and uh, uh, let us suppose that uh, the roots of uh, this quadratic equations uh, equation are x1 and x2 right okay now if we compare this uh, uh, quadratic equation with the standard form that is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 then we see that uh, uh, the value of a is uh, m square the value of b is 2 mc minus 4a and the value of capital c is equal to uh, small c square right okay so the roots are x1 and x2 and we know that uh, the sum of the roots the sum of the roots of a quadratic equation is given by uh, the uh, negative of the ratio of uh, coefficient of x over coefficient of a uh, x square 
so we have minus b over a right and the product of the roots is given by uh, c over a so these are the two standard results so here uh, x1 plus x2 is equal to uh, minus b over a and b is uh, uh, 2mc minus 4a over a and a is m square and here we have the negative sign right and x1 x2 that is the product of the roots is c over a so we have c square over m square right so now we have uh, here uh, the sum of x1 and x2 and the product of uh, x1 and x2 and let us uh, here use the uh, identity uh, that is uh, x2 minus x1 square is equal to uh, x1 plus x2 whole square minus 4 x1 x2 right so here we are using uh, this uh, identity uh, in order to get uh, the value of the difference of uh, x2 and x1 right so we have x2 minus x1 square is equal to x1 plus x2 is uh, uh, minus 2mc minus 4a over m square so here we have minus 2mc minus 4a over m square and here we have the whole square right minus 4 times x1 multiplied by x2 which is uh, c square over m square right now we can uh, simplify this expression and the square of this negative is positive and 2mc minus uh, 4a whole square is 4m square c square plus 16 a square and minus uh, 2ab 2 to the 4 4 4 uh, 16 so here we have 16 uh, m c a over uh, m raised to 4 right and here we have 4 c square over m square now uh, taking the lcm of m raised to 4 and m square so here we have uh, m raised to 4 as the LCM and uh, here we have 4m square c square plus 16a square minus 16mca minus and here we have m square so this is m square uh, 4m square c square right now these Two, two terms get cancelled and we are uh, left with uh, 16 a, a square minus 16 m c a over m raised to 4 right and if we take uh, 16 uh, over m raised to 4 a common that is 16 a over m raised to 4 uh, common here we have uh, a minus mc right so the value of uh, x2 minus x1 square is 16 uh, times a over m raised to 4 times a minus mc so now uh, we have the value of x2 minus x1 uh, whole square is 16 a over m raised to 4 a minus mc and uh, uh, let us take the coordinates of the two points a and b as x1 comma y1 and here we have x2 comma y2 right okay so now uh, we have uh, x2 minus x1 whole square as this quantity now we have to find uh, y2 minus uh, y1 whole square right now we know that uh, uh, this is a line segment AB uh, joining these two points. So uh, the slope of this line AB, the slope of the line AB 
is given by uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 right because we have these two coordinates and uh, if we know the uh, coordinates of two points on a line then we can easily find out the slope by taking the ratio of the difference of the uh, y coordinates and uh, the x coordinates right so the slope of ab is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and uh, from the equation of the line the slope of uh, uh, this line AB is M so here we have y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 is equal to M right so therefore uh, the value of uh, y2 minus y1 is equal to M times uh, x2 minus x1 right and uh, y2 minus y1 uh, whole square is equal to m square times x2 minus x1 whole square right okay so now uh, x2 minus x1 whole square can be uh, written from this expression so we have uh, m square times 16a over m raised to 4 uh, times a minus mc right so therefore uh, here m square and m square get cancelled so we have 16a over m square times a minus mc right so from uh, this equation we know the value of x2 minus uh, x1 whole square and from this we know the value of y2 minus y1 whole square right so now uh, the length of uh, this uh, segment AB is given by uh, the distance formula and we have to find the distance between these two points A and B having coordinates x1, y1, x2, y2. So AB can be written as the square root of x2 minus x1 square plus uh, y2 uh, minus y1 whole square, right? Okay, so now we can substitute the value of uh, x2 minus x1 whole square as this so here we have 16 a over m raised to 4 a minus mc plus and from here we have 16 over m square and here we have a times uh, a minus mc right okay So now uh, the expression for AB can further be simplified as uh, here we can write 16A over M raised to 4 and A minus MC as uh, the common term and in the bracket we can write uh, here we can write 1 and plus uh, here we can write M square right. So this expression can also be written uh, like this which can further be written as AB is equal to 4 taking the square root of uh, 16 as 4 and uh, the square root of M raised to 4 as M square and here we have square root of A minus MC and, and here we have A times 1 plus m square right so uh, this is the final expression uh, for the uh, length of the chord uh, intercepted by uh, this line uh, or the parabola on this line uh, ab right so now viewers uh, in order to apply this formula let us take this problem so here we have to find the length of the chord intercepted by the uh, parabola y square equal to 4x and the line y is equal to x minus 2 right so this is the equation of parabola this is the equation of the line and if we compare uh, these two equations with these two then the value of 4a is equal to 4 the value of m is 1 because here we have 1 and the value of uh, c is minus 2 right 
and from here the value of a is 1 right so uh, to find out the length of the chord intercepted uh, we can directly uh, substitute these values in this formula so we have uh, the length of ab as 4 over m square m square is 1 square uh, then square root of a minus mc so a is 1 and uh, the value of uh, m is uh, 1 and the value of c is minus 2 here and then we have the value of a as 1 and then we have 1 plus 1 square right okay so now uh, we can write uh, this expression as 4 because 1 square is 1 uh, times square root of 1 here we have 1 then minus and minus is plus so we have here plus 2 then we have 1 here 1 square is 1 so we have here 2 and uh, we can now write uh, this expression as 4 times square root of 2 plus 1 is 3 3 times 2 is 6 right so uh, the length of uh, this chord is 4 times square root of 6 